the Bears, if you pay attention to the uh, the buildup, the lead-in to the NFL season, the Chicago Bears are on the short list of teams that have been puffed up like a puffer fish that the Chicago Bears are going to be a lot better and that that division with Aaron Rodgers not there in Green Bay anymore, the Vikings are good but not great, and the you look at the Lions, you're down on the Lions, I think the Lions will be okay. But it, it's a competitive division, so the Bears are, are going to be a, a contender, many people think, and the big point here is that Justin Fields, the quarterback in Chicago, is not only going to improve, but... He is an MVP candidate. Uh, Rob, I am, uh, I am blown away by this. I, I look at Justin Fields and I say, what are we doing here? Like, I, I, I liked him coming out of Ohio State. And he's been a wonderful highlight sizzle reel guy. He's been really good with the sizzle reel. But the reality is that his throwing of the football has been terrible. He was statistically, if you look at some of the uh, the numbers last year, throwing the ball for the Bears, he was horrible. And I just don't see a scenario. He's going to be better, but for him to go from where he has been last year until uh, you know, into MVP rarefied air, I I don't I don't get it. I think these people are talking out of their behinds with this nonsense. Well, uh, it's just uh, I don't know. People are looking for stuff to fill over the- summertime. Throwing out names like I want to be as a uh, uh, cutting edge as possible, so that if something happens, I'll tell you. Well, but, I get that you're looking but, for the but, ne- right. you're looking for the next big thing. But, Everyone's but, looking for the but, next big but thing. But the thing you did bring up about Justin Fields, I'll say this: uh, it wasn't that long ago people were questioning whether Jalen Hurts could throw the football con- consistently enough. I remember we had Anthony Gargano from Philadelphia. You know uh, the the Pope down the there. The fellas, yes. <laughs> And he came on our show, and this was the last year. Yeah. Not this past season, the, you know, the year before. And said that, you know, while he loved Jalen Hurts and thought he was, you know, uh, just a, a great football player, he just questioned whether or not he could throw the football consistently to be an NFL quarterback. And then what happened in the year's time when you got him some weapons and some other things happened, he had an unbelievable year, including a tremendous Super Bowl that – had they not turned the ball over, Ben, you don't know. They might have won the Super Bowl. I mean, that's how great he played. So can people improve and take another step if the right weapons and scheme is put around them? Sure. Do I think that uh, Justin Fields is uh, in the conversation for MVP coming into the season? No, I don't believe that. But can he improve and play better? I saw Jalen Hurts do it in one year. You got to admit that, Ben. Yeah, there but were here's, here's the difference, though. But yeah, and and you're right. Hurts. I didn't think Hurts was going to be very good. I thought he'd be. I thought he'd be average. And but he started at a better spot than where Fields is in Chicago. I, I got it. But there he were was, questions, is what I'm saying. No, like, there is. But the the overhyping. And this always drives me nuts. I guess we're kind of in the hype business, doing what we do here. I'm not a hype man. But you got to earn. To me, you got to earn it. And I just don't think he's earned. I, people are they're they're pulling muscles trying to stretch reality, and I I I do not see it. The, the Bears have a slightly better roster than they did last year. The other thing for Fields, and I, I see this with a lot of quarterbacks. This is also a thing that drives me nuts. I call it fat shaming, Rob, where people rip when quarterbacks get sacked. They always think it's the offensive line's fault. They never think it could not be well, the, quarterback's the quarterback fault. held the ball too. That's long. what I'm saying. I, a lot of these, I, I look at a lot of the, the quarterbacks that are sacked at the very top, and you know, a lot of many times the sacks are because they held on. They didn't. They didn't get rid of the ball. And you can. I remember in the old days, uh, Peyton Manning, who I ripped, uh, but Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, uh, the top quarterbacks of all time, have been able to. If they have an offensive line that's got issues, you adjust. You it's and Justin Fields hasn't gotten to that point. Now maybe he will get to that point, but he hasn't gotten there yet. And he's going to get killed when you combine the way he you know he runs the ball and all the sacks. Uh, you know, the Bears will be on their third quarterback by week ten. Yeah, I I don't know. I mean, do I think he could take a step? Sure, I do. Because I think you you've seen that in the NFL. If you get people weapons and you improve the roster. And you figure it out. He has a year. He watched what happened last year. And if you decide that, okay, I need to do these things and, and, and I need to uh, 
figure out how much time I have with the offensive line and if I'm throwing a football, all kinds of stuff. So it's not inconceivable that he can definitely get imp- Im- improvement. Now, them saying that the, what, the Bears are winning the division, is that a part of this story too? Or well, that they're just... a contender. I don't, I don't think of the Bears as a contender. Do you have the Bears as a, 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 to be a To me, to be a contender, you got to win nine, around nine games. I don't think the Bears are yeah. going to win nine games. I, Does that shocked. mean that they think the Lions are only going to win six and the Bears are going to... Is that, is well, that you have the, the Lions is? winning about four games. No, I didn't say that. Yeah, come on. You I do. did not say that. You are, you've are. taken that. a strong anti-Lions position. Oh, on. only because I covered them for 20 years? I, is that I, what it is? I, listen, I covered the Clippers when they were dreadful, but they're a good team now. So th- things can change. Okay. Things improve. That's what right? I remember when you were covering the Cubs for those 108 well, years. I, That's what you said every year, right? I might have missed a couple of those years in, uh, in Chicago. Okay, I'm yeah. just saying. like, Just be careful of assuming that things are going to be one way or the other. Uh, MVP, no. Can he make big steps and strides? Yes. That can happen, Ben. I just don't see the MVP talk. There's too many other uh, quality quarterbacks and situa- and it's turned into a quarterback award. It's not a, uh, a real MVP. You might as well call yeah. it the Cy Young of, of quarterback because that's really what it is, right? Yeah. No, no, it, it had. I mean, the well, the last who's the last run? Twenty twelve. Was it, was it uh, Adrian Peterson? Twenty twelve, I yeah. think. I mean, that, yeah. that's a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, no, no, for sure, it absolutely is. And, and but as far as the Jalen Hurts thing, here's my one of my issues. Like Jalen Hurts, to me, that's the exception of the rule. Like, but it's doable. It is support. doable. Okay, yeah. but it is the exception. Oftentimes, like you start out a certain way, and most of the time, it's not going to deviate from the path you've started. Yeah, but on. look, but look at where he went from people questioning, you know, if this guy could play consistently in the NFL to a Super Bowl, and no, and well, and his, more importantly, he got paid. He got the and, big contract and his he, numbers. Yeah. yeah in the Super Bowl was suitable for framing. I mean, they weren't yeah, like he I, just was on the ride with the defense. He played yeah. great. Yeah, he did not have the tight took his syndrome in the Super Bowl. He was The moment was not too big uh, for him. And, and so... That one turnover but, turned everything, changed yeah. everything. But, it, again, it, I go back to the, to the point. It's like, that's the exception. Is it possible? Sure. It's possible I could go, you know, a, a, a second head. Uh, but probably not going to happen. Probably not going to take place there uh, in terms of that. Uh, I did want to mention here the Washington football team. I guess they call the commanders now. Ron Rivera said something this week, Rob, uh, and it caught my attention. It, it, talking about the, the situation there in Washington, and I'm going to paraphrase. I'm not going to give you the exact quote because I'm not Ron Rivera, but I'm going to paraphrase. So there, it was, they were talking about the quarterback, and Sam Howell has played well in these practice games, and I... You know, I, I hope he does well, but you know, practice. I don't make any opinions on exhibition games. But the gist of the Ron Rivera quote was, if I had known he was this good, we would have played him earlier, was the quote. And that to me, that's I know Ron's had some health problems. He'd been away from the team a little bit. But that's that quote right there. To me, it's a quote that, I mean, I own the team. My eyeballs are popping out of my head. No, like, if I own the team, doing? I'm going down to his office and saying, uh, uh, can you, Can I have your key and clicker <laughs> to, to, the, to the garage? I mean, yeah. seriously, like, like to even say that, if I knew he was that good, I would be playing. Like, that sounds ridiculous. Aren't you watching the film? Aren't you exactly. in there talking to people? Yeah, Aren't he, you watching yeah. him play? Even if you're not at practice, because Ron had some health problems, but even if you you do have to, you're still the head coach, you got to keep track of this stuff. And you're the one. I'm not the one. I, I have strong opinions on everyone, Rob, but they're not paying me to make the actual decisions. They're paying him to make the uh, take the make the decisions here. And so you talk about a good soft soft launch for Sam Howell, though. The Arizona Cardinals, the worst team that you could possibly have in the NFL, at least talent wise. And that's the first game Washington plays. So uh, if he does not get off to a good start, you just, you just say, what, what are we doing here? Uh, my goodness.